Good morning, Sharks. I'm Anais Tanuccio, and today I'm here to shed light on the madness that has been going on all over the world. We have all been cooped up in our homes waiting for the normal to start again. But for right now, let's dive into what our TV students have in store for you. To take our minds off of what's going on with the rest of the world, here's a fascinating documentary about a music school that gave kids ranging from all ages the opportunity to learn how to play instruments. Check it out. The way I would describe live to someone that's never heard of it, um, there's two answers. Very simplified, it's a music school uh, where we teach instruments, we teach guitar, bass, piano, drums, voice, we've also done horns and violin, but uh, in a larger scale it's a place where we uh, hope to build um, different levels of musicianship, uh, whether it's just starting off or someone that has experience and wants to expand on what they're learning and in hopes to create a community of like-minded musicians uh, and give kids a space to be able to work on music outside of home and hopefully learn things that they didn't know before. I've been coming here forever so I guess before I wasn't as aware of how I guess what's the word important music was to me and how it really makes a, me who I am and before that I wasn't able to recognize that I see it applied differently in different students from having students that are very shy and very timid and you know are kind of very to themselves and seeing them grow and become more extroverted or just a little bit more social and on a you know smaller scale I've seen students that didn't necessarily uh, or students that kind of weren't aware of what they were able to do themselves on an instrument and then kind of learn and start growing as a musician and seeing that they're able to, to, to accomplish things from zero to a certain other level. So seeing kids grow, I think is probably one of the best things that I've seen, uh, whether it's personality based or if, you know what they're able to do on an instrument. It's 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 been cool to see that change. It's taught me a lot of social skills, like how to like not be shy and how to be more out there and not like be more like self conscious. It's taught me how to be less self conscious. So seeing the students work together, collaborate, bond over the same musicians, help each other out. Um, we've had you know, students that are at different levels and kind of take on, hey, let's work on this and let's work on that, and they've, they've, they've helped each other out. It's definitely taught me teamwork and how to work with people when you really don't want to. Oh yeah. And it's taught me like how important bonding with the people you're working with is. Because like, you can't work with someone, especially in music, if you don't talk to them and you don't communicate freely, even if you just like them. Because it ruins everything. And you can hear that when you're playing. So it's definitely taught me how to be better friends with people I don't like, and how to work with people, and how to collaborate. Performing, a lot of students that maybe didn't like the idea or didn't really know the idea of performing, like love doing it now, and I think that's a big uh, way to to kind of put yourself out there and say like, all right, it's not just me, you know, now I can do something in front of other people and, and enjoy it. I would hope that all students leave having some sort of difference, whether they learned one thing or they learned a bunch of stuff, but coming in and having a different relationship with music or being able to see that you're capable of doing stuff. You know, you can come in and have never played an instrument and let's say you leave after a month or two, you'll, you're gonna leave knowing more than you did before you came in. Uh, but what I'd like to see is all the students kind of 
enjoying their experience. I would say that they'd have a lot of fun here and that you definitely come to learn what you wanted to learn. Like if you had one particular thing in mind, you would learn it. And if you didn't, you would still figure it out. And you would definitely get better at whatever you were trying to, I don't know, major in, trying to play or sing, even producing. You definitely find it easy. Do you guys remember how chaotic the lunch lines were at school every day? Well, let's see how our TV1 students make fun of how it is to get school lunch at ATM. Now I'm sure many of you guys always get snacks from the vending machines, but how would you feel if the vending machines came to life? Weird, right? For some laughs, here's a silent film from our TV1 students. suspenseful and eerie short film for one of our TV One Sharks. But before we get into it, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Stay tuned!
Now we have a short film showing us the importance of capturing a moment. That was a cute short film, but now I'm sure you guys are getting pretty hungry. So how would you feel if someone were to leave a whole Subway sandwich on the table untouched? Well, the obvious answer is, you definitely eat it. Let's watch our final short film. That's all the time we have for you sharks. Be sure to check out our website at wsksharknews.org. Thank you guys for watching Shark News. Remember to stay safe, wash your hands, and don't forget to stay tuned for more news every week. For WSRK Shark News, I'm Anais Nuccio.